Okay, we're talking with Trey Harris. He'll be on the card tomorrow night. You're facing, uh, who are you taking on? Anthony Ione? Uh, I think that's right, yeah. Okay, and, and where are you from, Trey? Cut and Shoot, Texas. It's a little town just north of Houston, Texas. Um, probably more popular for Roy Harris. He was a, he was my uncle, actually. He's the county clerk there now. He's uh, Didn't he, he, he fought, fought uh, Floyd Patterson right. in 1958, World Heavyweight Championship. Okay, and that's your uncle? That's my uncle. Okay, uh, what's your pro record now, Trey? My pro record is 3-0. And hopefully after, after tomorrow it'll be 4 now. Okay, so you sound pretty confident. Well, I didn't, cut, didn't fly out here to lose. <laughs> what, how would you describe your style, Trey? I'm a counter puncher with some power. Mm -hmm. How about amateur background? Um, I did a lot of amateur fighting. I fought on the U.S. international team. I fought in Ireland, Poland. Uh, I toured with the U.S. team just before the Olympic team and I lost in the trials. And then I turned pro about a uh, month and two, a couple of months ago. Okay, you didn't have any trouble making weight here today? No, no, no trouble. And 160 is just a good, a good weight for me. Uh -huh. And the amateurs I fought at 156 and that was pulling it a little bit. Mm -hmm. But 160 is good. 160 is a good weight for me. Okay, well, um, have you seen your opponent? In yeah, I have. At all? And what do you think? Uh, he's a, he looks like he's probably going to be a tough guy to fight. He looks like he's tough. He looks real tough. I'm not sure. You know, it's hard to tell by looking at somebody what their boxing skills are going to be, but um, just from his build and, it, and the way his head's shaped, you can tell that he's, he's, he comes to fight. You know, he, he's going to be there. So you're going to put a little science on him, I guess, huh? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to work and box and move and um, see if, you know, if the knockout comes good, uh, if it's there. Okay, do you have any predi predictions for us? Uh, no, I'd really like to stay away from that right now. Okay. Don't know enough about my guy to, to try to pick around for a knockout or anything like that, but I'm planning to win the fight. You know, that's what I come here for. All right. Well, this um, th this fight will be aired uh, here in Albuquerque uh, after the fight card is over. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people of Albuquerque while you're here? Um, it's a nice town. I enjoyed um, getting to come fight, and I hope we have a good turnout for the show. Okay. Thanks for your time, Trey. Thank you. That's Trey Harris, middleweight from Cut and Shoot, Texas. But I own it one fifty nine and a half. I own one fifty nine and a half. We have about Trey Harris. Trey Harris, 160. Danny, Max, 160. No, can't see 61. Harris, even 160. 160. Very good. Trey Harris, 160. Anthony, I own.
And there's the bell for round one. We're underway here, folks. Dances narrows at ringside. You're watching Anthony Ione and Trey Harris here in a four-round middleweight battle. We're at the Albuquerque Convention Center. And right now you see Ione getting aggressive and Harris holding on, holds on to the arms of Ione and he gets a warning from the referee. We're just underway. Both men wearing black trunks with white stripes, so Trey Harris is the taller fighter. His record is 3-0, and all three wins by knockout. Oh, Ione with a good right hand there. And Anthony Ione, the, the little bull, the lion, El Leon from Socorro, New Mexico, a veteran of eight professional fights, winning three and dropping five. And there you see him very aggressive, and Trey Harris just puts a good move on him and slips out to the side. An interesting contrast in style. You see Ione, the, the charging bull, taking on the uh, matador, Trey Harris. Trey Harris, a good stand-up boxer. He's a good counter puncher. He has good power. A fine amateur background. His opponent, Anthony Ione, no amateur background. A uh, product of the tough man competition, stepping right into the pros. And uh, it's never an easy fight when you face Anthony Ione. We're just underway in the first round, scheduled for four middleweights. Ooh, and Harris missing with that big right hand. He would have liked to land that. And there you see him again. And Ione swinging wildly now. Anthony Ione, there's a right hand from Ione. And Trey Harris <laughs> looks a little bit confused here. But he did say in the pre-fight interview that he expected Ione to be very tough. He said just looking at him, you could tell that he was a tough fighter. And there's no doubt about the heart of Anthony Ione. Trey Harris, the nephew of Roy Harris, the, the popular heavyweight back in the 50s, 60s era, and he faced uh, Floyd Patterson. Again, you see Ione coming forward now, trying to get the jab going, and Trey Harris trying to set up that jab and catch Ione coming in. Oh, a left hand scores from Ione again. Ione very awkward, and that awkwardness has really put a, a, a monkey wrench into the works of Trey Harris. Trey is a good stand-up boxer, Again, the sneaky right hand just catches uh, Trey Harris, and I think that awkward style of Ione is really, really uh, offsetting uh, the style of Trey Harris, who is a very stylish boxer. Ten seconds to go now in the first round. Ione coming forward again with both hands moving, and Trey Harris just holding on. Waiting for that bell, and there goes the bell. So a good opening round, maybe a slight edge to Anthony Ione there on his aggressiveness. He scored a few solid shots. Trey Harris just a little slow getting untracked here. And we look into the corner now of Anthony Ione. His chief second, the trainer, talking to him in front of him there is uh, Roy Griego out of the South San Jose Community Center. That's where uh, Ione sometimes trains, and, and uh, Roy Griego has been with him for a while. Now we look into the other corner, and you see Trey Harris. And Harris, they're taking a deep breath, maybe a little bit surprised. He's going to take some time to figure out this awkward opponent. But Trey's a fine boxer, telling us that uh, he didn't come, he didn't fly out here to lose. And uh, Trey Harris from Cut and Shoot, Texas. So we're just about ready to get underway with the second round of four. You're watching the eight count boxing hour, Dan Cisneros at ringside here at the Albuquerque Convention Center. And we're looking at two middleweights, Anthony Ione, and who's on the right of your screen, and Trey Harris with his back to you, now on the left of the screen. Trey Harris with a big advantage in height, and now Ione just bullying Harris back into the corner, and Harris grabs Ione's arms and tries to push him back. Harris now just grazing with the right hand. He just cut, quite cannot seem to get it on track. And if he does, Ione could be in trouble because Harris does carry pretty good power. And now you see Ione continuing to work, and Harris just pushes Ione off of him. Trey Harris may have found out that he's going to have to just rough it up with Ione a little bit, that, that uh, the stand-up boxing style just may not work with this awkward bull. Anthony Ione, a real crowd favorite in the New Mexico area. Oh, and Ione <laughs> stumbles. He gets caught with a right and lands a right. 
Again, Ione throwing that right hand. And Harris just tries to grab the arms of Ione and tie him up a little bit. Referee Al Martinez comes in to break the two. Oh, and a left hand now sneaks in from Ione, and he follows up now. Again, he's attacking, and uh, Trey Harris has nothing to do but just hold on to Ione, and he gets a warning now for holding. That's the second time now. In each round, Al Martinez has Warren Harris for holding, but what can he do? Anthony, Anthony Ione coming forward like a bull with both hands moving, and Harris trying to just grab the arms and put a stop to the attack. Trey Harris needs to set up and, and time Ione. He just hasn't quite been able to figure out the pattern of Ione's attack. And uh, Anthony Ione is very awkward, but it really works for him. Again, Ione with that left hand just grazing off the head of, of Harris. And Harris, who's done very little scoring in this fight, now again he misses with the right hand. Ione misses with his own right. Trey Harris needs to get the jab working. He needs to find something that will connect with Ione. He just hasn't been able to, to stop Ione. Again, the right hand off from Ione bounces off the head of Harris. And Trey Harris kind of stands back. He tries to land an uppercut now on Ione. Again, Harris missing with that left hand. And he tries to follow up. <laughs> and Trey Harris' left arm kind of got caught under the arm of Anthony Ione. Ione again trying to land the jab, missing. Here comes Harris with a little left hand. Again, Harris trying to catch Ione with the, with the hand, left hand, but the jab just won't seem to work. Oh, and Ione with that sneaky little left hand. Ione very sneaky. And there's Harris now trying the big right hand and the big left. Again, and he's unsuccessful and steps back and resets. He tries the jab, it misses. Again, he misses with the jab. Ione coming forward now. And Ione with both hands, he misses. Oh, and he catches Harris there at the bell. At the bell, so another, now we look at some replay action from that round. And there you see a chopping overhand right that just kind of catches uh, Ione, but not flush, and Ione just goes back to work again and charges forward. So two rounds in the book, uh, two close rounds, but a slight edge going to the man you're looking at there, Anthony Ione. His awkward style has really, really upset the tempo of uh, Trey Harris, the, the, who has to be a big favorite in this match. Trey Harris with a record of 3-0 and and 3 KOs. But Anthony Ione is all heart. And there you see him. So two rounds in the books and two rounds to go. Neither man has been hurt. The harder punch is definitely being landed by Anthony Ione. But neither man staggered. There you look at Trey Harris, and he's ready to go now. I'm sure his corner's telling him, you've got to get out there and get busy, start scoring. Not a lot of scoring on the part of Trey Harris. But it's only a four-rounder, so he's going to have to get busy now. And if he hasn't figured Ione out by now, it's, he better just forget about that and just go on the attack. Round three underway now. And the two men just tie up again. Again, Trey Harris standing back, trying to time Ione, and Ione bobbing and weaving a little bit and then charges his way in. Again, the two tie up. Al Martinez breaks them. Dan Cisneros at ringside. You're watching the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight here on Channel 27. Uh, it's a real pleasure to bring professional boxing to you. And now Anthony Ione again on the attack. He drives Harris back into the ropes, and Harris ties him up and comes off the ropes. It's a real pleasure, pleasure to bring boxing to you folks, and be sure to write to us at our P.O. Box. It's always good to hear from the boxing fans of New Mexico. Again, Trey Harris trying to get the jab going. Not a lot of power behind those shots. He seems a little bit tentative. And Anthony Ione just continuing to kind of step forward, pot shotting here and there. And then every once in a while, he'll go with a two-fisted attack and just charge forward. And now Trey Harris sneaks a little jab in there. And he needs to do more of that. Oh, a good jab right hand now from Trey Harris. And Harris missing with the right. Oh, and he gets an elbow in there on Ione. <laughs> Trey Harris just missed with that big right hand. And there's a warning from the referee. 
So Trey Harris has just not been able to keep the, the attack going. There you see him missing with the right hand. Ione is deceptive. He looks like he's just standing in front of you, but he is moving at the waist, moving his head in an awkward way. And you never know when he's going to attack you. Of course, Anthony Ione has appeared on the eight count box an hour before. We saw him drop a tough decision. Oh, and there's a good right hand from Trey Harris now. Uh, Ione dropping a tough decision to uh, Jesus Zapata. That fight taking place at the Kiva Auditorium. And we also saw Ione's victory over Cardell Fox. And again, a warning to Harris now. Referee Al Martinez has, has been after him to stop uh, holding and, and uh, elbows and everything. There's a jab attempted again by Harris. Ione just ducking his head and bullying his way in now, pushing Harris back. And there's a left hand at the bell. And Harris bouncing off the ropes there. So that ends three. We've got one round to go now to decide this match. Uh, Harris doing a little bit better scoring there. We're looking at action from round three now. And there you see Ione with that crazy left hand and then just charging in, driving Harris back. And Harris just holds on. He can't really, he doesn't seem to be willing to just mix it up. Oh, and the eye of Trey Harris now is really in bad shape. We take a good look at that. Yeah, his right eye is really looking bad. So Trey Harris taking a pounding in this match. I don't know if that was from a clash of heads or a, or a punch, but his eye is really swelling up on him and he's breathing hard. He's really sucking for air. Trey Harris having his hands full here with the man from Socorro, New Mexico, Anthony Ione. We gave the first two rounds to Ione close and the last round was pretty even, could have gone either way, maybe a slight edge to Ione on aggressiveness, but Harris are landing some good effective punches. So we have, we have Ione ahead here, but uh, it's a pretty close fight. And we've got one round to go now. There you see their records. Harris, 3-0, and oh, all three wins by knockout. And if he wants to keep that string going, he's got about two and a half minutes left to do it. And again, Ione just pushing Harris around the ring. Now Harris grabs the arms of Ione. He hits with a free hand right to the midsection. Ione doing the right thing. is The hand that was free, he lets it go and lands a good shot to the body. Again, Ione now just slapping with both hands, knocks a Harris back again, drives him into the ropes now. Trey Harris doesn't know where to go. He's trying to get away from the attack of Ione. Very aggressive, Anthony Ione. Again, the sneaky right hand just kind of cuffs Harris, and Harris just kind of grabs Ione, and he doesn't really know what to do with him. Pushes him off. Oh, and Ione misses with a crazy right hand now. Off the break, as soon as uh, Harris pushed Ione back, Ione came out swinging. And Trey Harris now falling behind in this fourth round. He's going to have to do something here. He has not been able to hurt Ione at all. And now Ione just continuing to bull forward. And Harris again just grabbing the arms of Ione. Just wrapping and grabbing both arms to try to stop the attack of Anthony Ione. Oh, and Harris just misses with a big right. And Ione missing with a right. Now he gets grazed, caught with a grazing right hand off the forehead. Oh, and there's a little sneaky right over the top now from, from Ione. Again, Ione with a left hand now. Harris trying to answer back. Ione with a right hand now. Harris with a right. And now Harris just ties up Ione and hits him with the left hand. The referee calling for a break. Now Al Martinez gets in there to break the two. Anthony Ione ending this fight on the aggressive note. And uh, Al Harris missing badly with the right hand. He looks a little fatigued. He comes in with a right hand there. And Ione answers back, and the two just look tired, worn out. This has been a grueling battle. And now Harris tries a body shot, and Ione just grazes him with a right. Oh, and there's a little right hand to the face of Harris. And again, Ione tries to land the right hand to the body, and Harris just pushes Ione away. And Harris missing with the left. Ione misses with the right hand now. And the two are just tied up. Alt Martinez breaks them, the crowd getting into it. And there's Harris trying to, oh, and he runs into a right hand from Ione. Trey Harris not looking too sharp here. He's really been worn down by the aggressive nonstop forward attack of Anthony Ione. And now Ione takes a little break back on the ropes and Harris pushes him back. And an Ione punching off the ropes now. And Harris just kind of holding and wrestling now with Anthony Ione. 
And there's Ione with her right hand now. At the bell. Well, a pretty good action fight. And there we look at some replay action now, and you see Anthony Ione, pure aggression. He comes in and gets caught with the right hand and just continues to bull his way forward. Even when he gets caught with a shot, it doesn't stop him. And this is going to be an interesting decision. We have Anthony Ione winning all the rounds close. Here we go. Let's get the decision. So Trey Harris gets the surprise nod from the judges here, a split decision, and congratulations to Trey Harris. He comes into town and his record's still undefeated, 4-0.